Hello, so this is Katie Cardwell back. We are going to be working on how to use Kami and Schoology for assignments. So I know sometimes for younger grades it can be overwhelming with technology, but I have discovered quick ways that you can use it through Schoology for a simple center such as word work is what I'll be demonstrating today. So maybe get some ideas going with that. So as you can see, here is my Schoology page and I have created a demo lesson at the bottom or a demo work folder for my word work lessons that my students will be using. So I'll click there. And as you can see, I already made a one document for my Eagles group to use. I name all my groups on the different Philly sports teams. So I'm going to show you how to make one for the Flyers, the one that we just made the Cami document for. So we're going to do add assignment. And I'm going to do Flyers. Now usually here is where I would add a voice command and I'll show you how to do that right here. I did show you on one of my previous tech tips, the talk and comment voice from a Google extension. So you just click on it. Make sure that you circle five trickster words. And I'm just going to copy paste that right here. So again, this is not part of Canva, but this is one tech tip to show you. You're going to put your due date and you can select if you want it graded or ungraded, student work. I'm just going to do ungrade it for now, just for the point of this, but usually I would do grade if I was doing uh, student work for centers. Then I'm going to hit Cami, and it will load up. So I have it connected so that's to my Google Drive, and I'm going to go into my folder where I saved the flyers word work previously. So I'm just going to simply upload that through Kami. So again, make sure that you're clicking on Kami and not your Google Drive part. I have already made my Kami connected through my Google Drive, but you are clicking on the Kami extension there. So we're going to hit Create. So if my flyers were to go in, they would click on that. Here's my voice note for them to play. Oop, you have to let it load first. <laughs> So once it has that, that's where you can hear it. Make sure that you circle five trickster words. And then it's very simple. Students will just simply click open assignment with Cami. All the Google Chromes have, Chromebooks have this already on their computers. So they'll do it with Cami. They'll sign in with their Google account. And if I want them to circle five trickster words, we have already practiced this again in my group, but you might want to do this as a whole group lesson first to show them. So we practice with the drawing tool. Um, so we circle the trickster word in, does, the, go, um, the. So you're just having them circle their words as a center. This is just one idea that I have. But then simply they will just click on turn in. And then all they have to do is click turn in. It's really simple and easy. My, ha my students have tried it before. Oh, because I'm in a teacher course, it won't let me turn in. But I have practiced with my students. They are able to turn in. And then you will see a bunch of uh, students who have, re have turned in their documents. You'll be able to give them quick grades or quick comments back. So this is something that I'm using in my word work centers for my students when they're not working with me and trying to make it more interactive and technology tools. But that is something that you can think about of one way of using your PDFs to merge them together and integrate them onto your school page. All right. Thank you, Fandelco.